know, if we can keep them down there where it's warmer a little bit longer, it just helps them to build. When they come back from California, they're slammed full. I mean, the bees, the hives are just so full of bees that we actually have to break them in half. We will put new queens in, so we have new stock, and um, then we get to put a box on them so that they have room. If you don't do that, we bring them up here, and then they're hanging in trees every place. So, um, and then the the grower doesn't benefit. You know, they've lost part of their pollination force, and so that's the whole idea. Is just the management. You know, manage the bees. So, sure. we we're trying to learn every day, like every other grower out there. Um, we've chose to this year, uh, at least for, for this location here, to put all of our bees in, in one location. Um, we, we raise them up on, on apple boxes just to, to get them hopefully to move a little bit sooner in the day because it, it's a little warmer up there. But, but I think uh, at least our, our thought process is to, to keep them in bigger groups. Uh, they're, they probably are a little more competitive amongst bees, and I think the, uh, the possibility that there's good cross-pollinization between the bees, in, a, in addition to the honeybees, we also bring in uh, bumblebees, uh, they're the, the copet bees here. Uh, they, they tend to work in a little cooler temperatures, uh, and obviously we move them around ourselves. We just set them on a pallet just to get them off the ground here. But uh, we can close them up and, and move them around as, as needed here. I've gotten growers the other way where the grower called me and says, look, my beekeeper, he's been late two years in a row. You know, He was five days late this year and last year we waited 10, it was in the blueberries. He says, we waited 10 days for our bees. And he says, we lost half our crop. We've always tried to make sure that we have bees available. If I don't have enough bees to cover it, we rent bees. I mean, that's that's what you have to do. You have to you have to have that product that the growers are depending on.